Hey guys, this is Robert Winters with Radio 1984. Right now we're at the Fountains in Roseville, and I'm just going around asking Californians if they're aware of the bill SB 277 that is in the California State Senate. Next week there's going to be a march and rally, so we'll be there videotaping and hopefully live streaming as well. I also wanted to ask people about the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Do they know what it is? Do they know about GMOs? Do they know what Monsanto is? So I got a lot of questions and I think we should get some interesting answers. Do you know about SB 277? I don't think so. Never heard of it? Uh-uh. It's a, a bill in the California State Senate that would remove the religious and personal belief exemptions for vaccinations for children going to elementary school in California. And if the bill passes, every parent would be forced to vaccinate their children. Hey, do you guys know about SB 277? Yeah. You guys have never heard of it? Are you from California? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about forcing parents to vaccinate? Oh, uh, we're really good. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Have you guys heard about SB 277? Oh, yeah, you too. No? I stand the parents' rights, but I think, I think, I feel like they wouldn't push it if, there was an evidence that it was better for families to um, be more open-minded about it. I do feel like parents should have a right, but I don't know. I'm really on the fence about it. Can I have a property here? Can I have a videotape? Since when? Since they built this place. There's no signs that say that. I've never... I've never heard of that. Well, I can call security if you like. Private property? Yes. Yes, yes it's private home? property. Yes. Can I call security? Well, security's right there watching me. Sorry, I said no. Can I call security? Yes, you can. Yes. Hey guys, I have a question. Have you ever heard of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms? No. Hey, have you guys ever heard of GMOs? Yes. What are, what are GMOs? Genetically modified organisms. Yeah. Have you guys heard of the TPP? No. TPP is the Trans-Pacific Partnership. It's like the North American Free Trade Agreement that was passed under Clinton. It's, it's really hard to research because Another part of it is it's all being uh, negotiated and passed in secret. Oh, really? Even our own uh, uh, congressmen and senators, when they go in to review the bill, if they're allowed to, have to forfeit their smartphones. They're not any notes they take are confiscated when they leave, and they're not really allowed to tell us what's in. So oh, that's wow. just yeah. That's crazy. International law that's going to affect everything from uh, copyright to. Um, inter intellectual copyright, so all and the internet is all being negotiated and passed, you know, in smoke-filled rooms. So even anybody with an opinion on the subject is kind of pushed up to the table. Well, yeah, we're left just to speculate on what really might be in it. Some of it has been leaked uh, by WikiLeaks, but the majority of it, nobody knows what, what it really is. And it's kind of, yeah. As far as it goes, laws are being passed without citizen approval, so there's no voter rights in any of it. And it's not being voted on um, by all of our elected officials either. It's kind of, you know, they have ways to, fa it's being fast -tracked. But I thought people would be more informed here at um, the fountains because, you know, you got Whole Foods and a lot of these people have money. You think yeah. they know, but yeah, one person I think knew what TBP was. Most people didn't even know what a GMO is. Oh, wow. Genetically modified yeah, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, and, and, and... Yeah, we both work for grocery stores, so... <laughs> so you guys have seen there's been a big change recently. Uh, in the past, you'd have to go out of your way to get organic food, and now it's kind of... You're seeing it at Costco and everywhere. Well, and as far as organic food goes, the stuff that they're putting out as organic food isn't necessarily organic either. I mean, I'm not going to say which grocery line I work for, but at the same time, it's not necessarily organic. It's yeah. what's convenient to bring in and sell to a consumer. So 
Well, they want that that label. A lot of times they'll say 100% fresh, which means nothing. Yeah, it, you know, it doesn't. Or you know, they use those word tricks, lawyer tricks, and they do that with um, they do that with MSG. A lot of times on the label, it's not called MSG. It's um, beef broth, or you know, when they hide it. Yeah, it's substituted with another word so people don't quite understand it. I see a lot. I read a lot of labels and look at a lot of expiration dates and stuff going through things that work and things that way. So would you say if people want to get um, fresh food, what, what kind of options would you Farmers have? markets. There yeah. you go. Farmer That's what I was hoping market. you were going to say, yeah. Yeah. I agree 100%. I think voting with your dollar and supporting local farmers is totally the way to go. Oh, well, you yeah. got to stay local. Simple as that. What about just growing your own garden, like just well, starting a little thing? That's another option if you're willing to go through the labor that it actually takes. That's but right. then at least you know where your food, how it's grown. Yeah, it's a, it's a total experiment and really, I think, plugs you in with the earth a lot more. Oh, yeah. You know, you're touching the dirt, like you get to see how the plants thrive and what they need to, and it's kind of like they communicate with you on a certain level. Jake. Jade, I'm Robert. Hi. Nice to meet you. Chris. Chris, what's up? What's up, man? What's up, brother? Have you ever heard of GMOs? What's GMO? Genetically modified organisms. Well, it's, what are you guys modifying? What, what kind of organisms? Have you ever heard of Agent Orange that was used in Vietnam? They, they sprayed it on all the... Oh, oh it's like some kind of war um, 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 weapon? It was, a, yeah, it was a defoliant. They used it to get rid of the jungle so that the Vietnam, North Vietnamese wouldn't be able to hide. Yeah. But it ended up hurting a lot of our own soldiers and affecting our own soldiers and plus the Vietnamese people. The, yeah, the I know children. because my family been through that war. You know what I mean? Well, Monsanto, the same company that made Agent Orange, uh, creates the genetically modified organisms that they put in the food and sell to us, and it's causing people all kinds of, you know, cause of cancer. Yeah. So, and, and a lot of studies have been in, in Europe have shown that uh, GMOs hurt people, but here in the United States, big business kind of has a monopoly on everything. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going around. I was asking. Just people, letting everybody know about it. You know, people, yeah. giving the people a little knowledge or something. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, the Trans-Pacific Partnership is an international treaty uh, that, if passed, would undermine local and state governments and remove our ability to fight against companies like Monsanto that want to poison our food. And it's scary that most people aren't aware of what the TPP is. They aren't aware of even what genetically modified organisms are. And so I, I was hoping, honestly, that more people would know what this kind of stuff was. And I hope that, you know, we can prove this, this stereotype that Californians are dumb uh, I hope that we can prove that wrong, but from what I've seen here at the fountains, it does seem that most Americans, most Californians in particular, are uninformed. And that might be because uh, they're, in a lot of cases, working two jobs just to stay ahead. It might be because the media doesn't cover a lot of these stories, and instead people are distracted by pop culture and other things. So, if you are... Uh, if you don't know what the TGP is, go out and, and check it out because this is, this is important. This affects all of us. All right, well, I'm signing out. Radio 1984. Reporting unofficially for InfoWars.com.